Welcome back, my fellow duplicates. Now, I just posted this video uh, today <laughs> and recorded it less than 24 hours ago. And I'm working my way through the comments and there's a couple of really good things that you guys were talking about over here. And I think I got an interesting idea of how to cool down something like these really hot vents in such a way that, you know, this would be really easy and you could use it in your base, sort of a blueprint like video. This system here was more of an experiment to see, you know, what it would be like to use a hydrogen vent and a thermal nullifier to cool steam down and make that processable. But at the end of the day, that's really not the best way to condense steam, maybe. Because you could use it for power, to run different equipment, to run liquid, and there's other ways to condense steam. What we did stumble across, though, is kind of a fun phenomena with this Wieswort thing right here. So the pressure down here near the Wieswort is actually quite low. Look at that. It's like three. If you let it run a little bit here. Run, you fool. So you can see that the hydrogen up here, look at that, 6.5 kilograms. But down here, it's actually like 5.3. So it's actually compressing a little bit of the gas. Now, when I was recording this last time, that was actually quite a bit more. But there was a, a comment that Patrick Moore actually dropped a while ago. So in this little t experiment, what he did here is he put several different Wieswarts on top of each other to pull a vacuum down below and kind of measured the pressure differences across them. So you can see it right here of just how much compression he is able to get from these Wieswarts. So after the test, the second test, he was able to see that the pressure difference was 1.9 kilograms, where with two Wieswarts, it was 3.6 and then all the way up to 5.7. So the thing I want to explore here is if, if we use something like this, where we're just cycling this around and around, we might be able to trick this vent into letting more hydrogen into the system like we've seen, you know, happen in this video here. So what I want to try to do is explore the ideas where we're, where we're cycling this gas around and around so that it's continuously getting colder and colder and use it in such a way that we're actually creating a big pressure difference so we can compress a lot of gas into an area like this, but not just try to create a vacuum. So what that would allow us to do is to do something very similar to what Samuel's talking about here, where he builds a room right next to the geyser with a door system, much like we have over here, where you can kind of turn on or off the ability for heat to transfer between the two areas. And then what he has in the, in the right chamber is actually just a bunch of cold liquid already, you know, ready to go to receive more hydrogen. So that way we could do something similar to what Frantisek is talking about up here, where we're having a continuous operation where we're just always cooling down that gas. Although this was more in tune with the liquid system and steam, but same sort of idea to where we're, we're always cooling down these vents. And if this works up here, then we can apply it to all the other different vents that are around the base, as long as we can cool them faster than they can dump heat into the system. And not only that, it'll create a, a natural place where we're going to have high pressure where our, our pump can sit and then we can use it whenever we need it. So this is a, might be a great method for tapping really hot vents of many kind. So let's start off with just playing around with the arrangement here and seeing what happens when we put a bunch of Wieswarts inside of a room and just let the gas circulate. Okay, so I have an eight by eight room and that's just gonna be the size we go with for right now. All right, so you can see what I have set up here. I've got one Wieswort just above the vent. We're gonna see how that works. I've got one down low and then one above it. Maybe there's something to that. Two above it. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Three? I wanna see how these react. Ah, but how are we going to do this? We're gonna put an Atmos sensor right there so that we have it in the same spot. We can get some sort of idea. It's getting serious now. Good job, Ren. Good job, Hassan. Man, my dupes are pro in this one. Okay, so I've got power generation all figured out over there. Fairly simple. <laughs> Why did I use mini gas pumps? Just so it's always running. Why not? So each one of these is starting off with a very small amount of hydrogen. And now we're just going to enable all of these pumps at the same time and see what, ha see what happens. So each one of these is just a normal little gas vent. Nothing too fancy. And you can kind of see the different flow already. So this one here, it's kind of going back in on itself a little bit. Might even be able to see it with a temperature overlay. Yeah, there we go. You can see what's going on much better this way. 
obviously the three is doing quite a bit. Hmm, and if you look at the gas overlay, you can see this one down here is already jammed up. That one's jammed just about. Hmm. Okay. Oh, oh. There might be something to this arrangement. So in order for that to be jammed, it has to be, has to have two kilograms covering up that vent. But what do I have up there? You have 2.3. 2.5, 2.6, and 3. Okay, so more equals more. How about that? So if I just compare the top two, see that was 2, 6. So the system over here on the right was actually a little bit more effective at creating a pressure difference on that vent. So if we take a closer look at what Patrick did in his experiment here, you can see that there, there he's created some tiles around this that have actually affected the way these things are operating. So if we restrict the flow into the area where the vent is, but allow it to still kind of pull some vacuum here, let's see what happens. What I, if I just add tiles to this, let's see how this changes. So I can't put one right here, but I can put one right there. And if I just box off this for the other three, let's see what happens. Okay, what if I get rid of this one and just add a tile? Above it, no change on any of those. Well, this one, eh, uh, this one wants to. Okay, what if I do that? Hmm. Okay, that's working. This one's actually keeps bringing in more. But what if I get rid of that tile? So if I take a look at the pressures here, we can see that this is up to right around 2.8. That's at 2.6. That's at 2.7. This is still at three. So this is still the most effective system here. Just more is more. So let's see what I can do to the three arrangement here to see if I can make that even more effective. What if I put the vent right there? What, how does that change things? Nothing. If I block it off. Hmm? Yeah, no. Nope. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now it's bringing in a little bit more. Once I went to the middle tile right there, suddenly this thing decides that it's going to be a little bit more effective. Okay. So there was a trick there. Yeah, see this one started to run again as well. I had to get up to the middle of the wheeze wart to where it's not circulating around. And that suddenly started to bring in more, which is exactly what we see over here. What about some different arrangements? What if we put one on each side of it? Uh, nothing. If I did this, huh? Yeah, that. Oh, there we go. Interesting. That made this one function quite a bit more. Look at it. Gas is continuing to flow in. What if I truncate that guy right there? Ooh, 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 ooh. So the only thing is that the, the gas here is no longer flowing when I do it like that. It's not circulating around. In this case, it is. So placing the gas vent between these warts. Interesting. If I put it right here. No. That's not doing anything. What if we block it off from the top and the bottom? And the side? Nope. Oh, maybe. That doesn't seem to work as well as being down a little bit lower. All right, so that actually did something promising. So what if I put two side by side and then put the vent right in the middle? What I really want to get to is a system that's going to allow this to pull in a lot of gas and continue to compress it, but at the same time, it's going to circulate the gas so that it keeps getting colder and colder. So doing it like that didn't work. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, nothing, not helping. Two side by side is not more effective. Now we did see if we stacked up two of them on top of each other that the pressure was actually higher. So let's see if that applies here, but in kind of an open format. No, none of that is working. Unless I do this number, then it should work. All right, so let's try another strategy here. I'm just gonna use a lot of wheeze warts and see what happens. Maybe even two vents. All right, well, that gave me a good idea of what sort of arrangement we would really need to work with in order to work with something like a hydrogen vent. It seemed like if you had two of them side by side, kind of like that, they seem to work pretty good as long as they have a spot to come in from the very bottom there. And we do get a little bit of like natural compression out of the whole thing. So here's what I'm going to do to try to tap into this really hot hydrogen vent is I'm going to have couple of wheeze warts side by side in a separate tank right next to it with one spot where that hydrogen can come in. So it'll be a wheeze wart and a wheeze wart 
with a tile just like that. So this side will continuously keep running around and trying to cool while this one's really just working to try to pull a little bit more of a vacuum in there. Let's see how this works. So furniture on both of those and then a spawner, which is a wheeze wart. That hydrogen expanded quickly. I'm just gonna make it that big. It's very hot and probably you wouldn't want to uncover this until you're actually ready with the system set up on the right here because I think it's going to get too too toasty too quick. But then again, that metal might take care of it. No, nope, it's very hot. <laughs> well, let's see what we end up with here. Whoa, those are too hot. What'll be nice is if this actually just works out to where the temperature over here is cool enough to where we can just put a pump in there and and let it sit without destroying itself. You know, once this everything gets to maximum pressure, then we should be able to draw hydrogen out of here to power up stuff and not have to worry about it exploding. And it looks like the temperature on the right's coming down pretty good. You can see it's down to a uh, 100 degrees Celsius. Look at that, now it's down to 90 something. Since hydrogen is so good at transferring its heat, it actually works pretty good like this. Let's just see, we can click on this, we can see what its pressure is. And then way up here on the left, you can see that that is 3.2 kilograms, but the inlet pressure is at 1.4 kilograms. So we have a two kilogram difference. So really that is just what Patrick was talking about with one wheeze wart at 1.9, pretty close to it, I guess. The cool thing is, literally, <laughs> if you put a, a gas pump over here, it's not destroying itself. That's nice. For once, interesting. I mean, it just keeps, like the difference is, is bigger now. You know, one thing I didn't replicate here was just how long, how long of a run there was between the wheeze warts and kind of the high pressure area. There might be something to that. So while this thing is continuing to operate, let's try that number out. All right, so let's see how these two systems work out. You can see this one wanted to overpressurize in no time. Yeah, let's just let it run for a little bit. Obviously, this is going to fill up with more gas, so it's gonna take longer, but I'm curious to see if there's a bigger difference. Whoa, 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 look at that. 9.3 kilograms up top as compared to four kilograms. Yes, there is something to how long of a run you have. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well then. You don't get to be too hot. Don't be doing that to me. Look at this thing go. Look at that. 36 kilograms? 38? W will it ever stop? It's gotta stop eventually. Huh. All right, so I simply cannot ignore that. So let's see here. If I, while well, that's running, if I just destroy this stuff here, destroy all of this. Now these right here, these would be like neutronium. You can't actually get rid of them but I did because I have the debug tools enabled, so I can. And what I would do is destroy that right there. And what I'm going to do is create one of those little spiral things. We see it with the oxalite every once in a while. Yes, like this. All right, so if I do something like this, <laughs> and then use like, uh, that'd be one wheeze wart there. And then another one right there, just on top of each other. See if I can do this with just two. Because if you do this with just two, then that makes it pretty practical. I mean, the metal tiles might be a little bit over the top. You could probably do something that isn't metal tile. You know, just like granite or something, but you get where I'm going with this. Uh-huh, yeah, yep. Hassan, move. Move, buddy. Good job. Ooh, I think, I think we're onto something here. I think we're onto something big. All right. No, 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 you're flowing out like that. I don't want that. I want you to flow around. Ah, it'll, it'll figure it out. I want all of that to be hydrogen so nothing backs up. Look at this go. Look at that, 70 kilograms. Patrick, bro. Distance is the key, man. Look at that. So this flows in and it overpressurizes itself because there's just too much of it there. But then the wheeze word up here is like, I don't really care what's above me. So you end up with this low pressure area right there and it's just, poof, it's kind of like a Venturi. Kinda, maybe. In case you're wondering what a Venturi is, 
Essentially, you use gas and you run it through a restriction, and that's where the low pressure is, and stuff gets pulled in. I would call it magic, but it's it's very much science. Like hacking science. Because you're just moving liquid by, and it's like... <laughs> but you know what? It really is kind of the same thing. Check it out. Okay, so... We have flow in from the vent. And then the velocity increases. You can see it visually right there. And because of the velocity increases, the pressure drops, allowing this to pump in more gas. So really, this is both atmosphere and flow in, and Weezward is just magic. Hmm. How cool is that? I think, I think we learned something today. So check this thing out. Look, not only is the temperature staying nice and low, it's not getting too hot, but the Weezward's working like a charm. That's 161 kilograms! All right, well, since temperature doesn't seem to be an issue, let's just uh, let's just mess with this hydrogen vent a little bit. We'll put a gas vent in, in there. But <laughs> I don't know on this one. This one's a little different. Where's the low pressure? Not there. Not there. Definitely right there. Yeah, forget it. Let's not mess with that. Let's just see what happens. Give it some time. Let it run. All right, I can't help myself. I gotta mess with some stuff more. Some more <laughs> I have to mess with some more stuff. All right. We know this is working. That's cool. So how do I actually make a Venturi, knowing what I kind of know now, to where I can continuously bring in more, but it still circulates it around rather than just compressing it up to the top tile? Because you see why that doesn't necessarily work. It's just always at 27 degrees Celsius. It's just like stuck there. Mm. Oh, yeah. So it works well if you go to the side of the wheeze wart. Uh, yeah. That would be right there. And then around. So actually, this would be like that. I wonder if you could do this with just one wheeze wart. I'm not sure. You might need two. One that's continuously circulating and the other that continues to add pressure to it. One that's continuing to circulate and the other that adds pressure to it. All right, let's see how this works. Hmm. <laughs> no, no, don't do it wrong. You have to, it has to be like that. There you go. <laughs> Is it working? Dude, it's pulling nearly equal pressure on both sides. Look at that. 600, 700. It is going up, and it is going up higher than it is over here on the right. So this might top out. But then again, it is a little bit lower. It's not quite as tall. But the funnel on the left is longer. Actually, if you get rid of that one, then you have a perfect spot for your pump. Uh-oh, this is working out too good. So this is up to 10 kilograms, by the way. What is it over here? 270! Oh! I mean... The only thing I'm wondering about this now is, okay, what if I... <laughs> yes, I know this is going to work. This is... All right, let's see how this works. If we deconstruct this right here, and then give it a little bit more to go up there. Yes. You know where I'm going. We take more of these, and we just let them go in like that. Interesting. Only these two operate, but this one operates every once in a while. That did increase the pressure up there a little bit. Hmm, okay, so two wide works. Maybe three, not so much four. Look at that. Look, they all work in right with each other. One, two, and three. Poof. Okay, they didn't do it that time, but look at this. This is up to like 18 kilograms and it just keeps running. What's the pressure there? Oh, it's it's gonna reach a point where it won't work anymore. But man, that's awfully useful. And look at the temperature. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, this is a little toasty, but that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. My definition of what's beautiful is a little weird, by the way. All right, so clearly we have something that's working good. Let's see what happens when we reload the game. And thank you to everybody that's been subscribing recently. It's been absolutely awesome. Thank you for your support. Hopefully I can continue to just give you really good episodes like this one. I mean, this is going to be useful to a lot of people. Yeah, look at that. Just reloaded it. <laughs> Worked just fine. So this system over here does continue to work. And it is doing just fine. Although it is, its temperature is 102 degrees Celsius. And if anything, it seems like it wants... It just really wants to mm, slowly heat up over time. So this system here seems to actually work a lot like a Venturi, realistically, kind of like that. 
We're going to call it the Venturi Wart. And I'm going to redesign the system over here on the left. Now knowing what I know here, we're going to use two Wheeze Warts. Actually, three, because it looks like you need three to really keep up with the hydrogen vent. Or at least one that's this active. Okay, so I want the atmosphere in, right? And that's going to be in over here. But I want the hydrogen to be circulating around uh, this side over here. We'll just get rid of that. Okay, so the one difference I want to try here is that I want to make sure that I'm cooling this about as much as I can with the wheeze warts I have available. So I use three wheeze warts. I should be able to keep this nice and cold and keep bringing in more and more uh, hydrogen, almost unlimited, like, like I'm seeing over here. So the way I can do that is like this. So I have two airflow tiles. That way the hydrogen can come up and kind of disperse a little bit and then go up. That way it spreads out and it hits more, more of these flower pots. Although they might be better placed in line with each other rather than, what if I put one down there? Okay, this makes it really simple. If I do this number here, I'm just gonna combine the two, the two things I already had. So that there and like that, this is just gonna cycle it around and continue to cool it constantly. Here's what I'm also going to do. I'm also going to try granite tiles instead of metal tiles. This means we might be able to get to you know, this sort of setup here really early on in the game. You don't need refined metals or anything like that. You can really just use, you know, as long as you can dig up some abyssalite and uh, put down a flower pot, which I, unless they change it, I mean, that's like one of the first things you either get. I, th I think you start the game with that ability. Okay, now you need interior decor. All right, so that one. That's a tough thing to research. Okay, so to get the most out of this, uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put an airflow tile right there. No, I'm gonna put it right there. I'm gonna throw a flower pot right there. Yes. And you know what? If we get rid of that tile right there, then I should be able to put a gas pump inside of here. So obviously you need, a, you need the technology of a gas pump, but hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, there goes my wheeze words. Okay, so we plant all of that up. Let's see that the hydrogen is now going to start to flow into this area, and let's just see how much we get. Let's see if we can do this without any temperature shift plates or anything like that. It's just possible with good old granite tiles. That would be great. Okay, so you know what? I think I'm going to simulate a hydrogen vent that's really, really active, just so we can really get a good fast test, and I'm not gonna be sitting here all night. I wanna make sure we explore all the options. I'm into this experiment, if you can't tell. Like, or blueprint of whatever we're calling it today. Hydrogen, oh no. I can't pump hydrogen. Crap, I'm just gonna have to wait for it to, darn it. You know what, it might be a good idea to not make this super long, because as that pressure drops lower and lower, it seems to mean that this wheeze ward is moving less and less material. This one is moving at, uh, you know, 50 grams a second, whereas this guy over there um, is, is moving a very random amount of number, but these guys over there is moving like 130 something, so. Okay, so this system over here on the left is continuing to operate as intended. The thing is, it's getting a little bit feel like it's getting too hot. I wonder if it's gonna stabilize though, because you can see the amount that's moving through this just keeps going up and up, which means it's gotta be killing off more and more heat. All right, out of curiosity, you can see that this number here is roughly about 400 grams a second. Let's see what happens when I get rid of that one spot. Ooh, that moved up to 600 and something grams a second. Yes, it's moving even more by get, getting rid of that one tile. And this one's at a thousand. Now, because I opened that one tile up right there, Man, that's really flowing stuff around quite a bit more. Just one, one tile. That's all it took. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not winning the heat race here. So let's, let's rearrange some stuff and see what happens. Okay, here's another idea. That one didn't really do anything. But what if, what if I do this, and then get rid of this tile there? Now that's going to want to flow out. However, it should still have a low pressure here to allow that to keep flowing through. Oh, nope, 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 nope. That doesn't work. 
because now I'm going to, going to overpressurize the vent, and that's why that vent is there. I'm just going to add one more wheeze wart to the system. See what that does. There you go, Hassan. Thank you. So that's moving a thousand. That's moving near a thousand. And I'm not sure this wheeze wart's doing anything. Oh, there's a block of natural gas in there. Hassan. Messing things up. Nope, that doesn't look like the right idea. This is interesting, but I think this will this will do it. Okay, so that wheeze wart's moving a thousand. That one's moving a thousand. That one's moving a thousand. Nice. Perfect. So if I just watch the temperature of this granite tile, temperature's gone down a little bit. <laughs> this is like the most active hydrogen vent possible. This thing just cranks it out. All right, well, this system over here, it's just slowly, ever so slowly, starting to heat up a little bit. What if I put a flower pot here and just move that from there to there? What am I left with there? Uh-oh. All right, let's see how this one works. I got a good feeling about this one. No, it's not working. <laughs> this one hydrogen vent is stronger than all than four wheeze warts. All right, we're gonna run it really fast. Let's see what happens. It goes up to 51.2. And it takes five wheeze warts to combat this one hydrogen vent, but. All right, so it's been about two hours. Let's take a look at my results here. This system over here on the left is super simple. I mean, it's a flower pot with some wheeze warts. Now it does have five wheeze warts and that's based on the hydrogen vent that I have over here. It's very active and it pumps out a lot of hydrogen for a vast majority of the cycle. Um, so it, it takes a lot of wheeze warts, but not all of these vents are going to take that because obviously we have you know, polluted oxygen vents that are going to put out a fair amount of polluted oxygen, but you know, maybe for a different amount of time. I don't know. You do be prepared to have access to many wheeze warts. Don't expect just two of them to work. But this system right here, this long tube that goes up to a wheeze wart, allows you to build up pressure infinitely, it seems like, or just about infinitely. Because if we look at this system over here on the right, look at that, 1,598 kilograms. I mean, that should do it. <laughs> 1,598. Wow. So we definitely combined some different ideas from the comment section over here to really come up with a really awesome solution. And that's a great way to tap into to some very hot vents to keep them cold enough to where you can operate your pump and also to create an area where you're going to have high pressure. So that's super useful for especially things like gas natural gas geysers where you just need to pump out um, basically you just want to have as much on hand so when they go dormant you can continue to draw on that for many many cycles until it becomes active again awesome absolutely awesome and look at the system down here it's continued to operate this entire time and looks like I've, I've run out of room I gotta pump some water out of it so I don't know that's a that's a pretty cool little blueprint I mean I would use that I'm definitely gonna use that in my base yeah Absolutely. And if you think about this, really all you need to do is cap off this one spot here and add, you know, have a spot like, you know, a little reservoir up there. So you can use hydrogen to cool down a different style vent. So if this isn't hydrogen, it could be carbon dioxide or, or that oxygen. And you can cool down that oxygen using the very efficient hydrogen that you're running through your wheeze warts. Pretty dope. Hope you guys found this video somewhat informative or just plain enjoyable. Uh, if I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Have a great day, guys. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out.